We have watched Descendants 2 loads of times, but we still can't get enough. When we talked about fan fiction before, our viewers were kind enough to tell us some more Descendants 2 fanfic that we absolutely loved. Keep watching to the end when we'll meet an awesome new character, the daughter of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. If this is your first time visiting The Things, then do us a favor, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today we're going to show you 10 Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that are better than the original, part 2. There are so many ways to celebrate our love. Something that fan fiction does and does really well is to take characters and move them a bit further forward than when we saw them. It's also something that can take us into an alternative universe and show us how things could have been if they had happened differently. And that is why we like this next work of fan fiction. It's called There Are So Many Ways to Celebrate Our Love and it features Mal and Ben one year on from when they started dating. It's written by Lumina Shizuma. What is very interesting about it is that it might just take place in a world without Descendants 2. Although having said that, it could even equally take place before Descendants 2 or just as likely a little bit after. What happens is that the happy couple are celebrating their first anniversary, which means that they have to make a reservation at Aradon's most expensive, upmarket and luxurious restaurant, the Enchanted Lagoon. Of course, with Mal's background, the idea of going there makes her rather nervous. And what makes things even worse is that Ben is going to be late. He says he has to do what he calls a kingly work thing before he can get there. So Mal turns up on her own and she feels rather anxious. Luckily, Ben Ben does show up and everything works out. How to be a perfect princess. We absolutely loved Descendants 2, but if we had to find one thing in it that we maybe didn't like so much, it's that one of our favorite characters from the first film didn't appear. And that character was Audrey. If you aren't entirely sure as to who she is, we'll remind you. She's the daughter of Aurora and Prince Philip from Sleeping Beauty. She is a bit of a stereotypical prissy princess and she doesn't really trust Mal. In a way, we can understand why that is because at the start she's dating Ben, but then he leaves her for Mal. But in the end, everything works out and Mal and Audrey join forces. Like we said, she isn't in Descendants 2, but she is mentioned. First, it's revealed that she has gone on a spa weekend with Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, and then she calls Chad Charming and tells her that she is stranded in Sherwood Forest. But we're including a story by Flat Fox about Audrey. It's called How to Be a Perfect Princess. It isn't very long, but it packs a serious emotional punch. It's a little look at Audrey and how she felt when Ben left her for Mal. We think you should check it out because it's really good. We also hope that we see Audrey again in the upcoming third Descendants film. Tough love. One thing we really like about both Descendants and Descendants 2 is that both movies have a very large cast of characters. Of course, this means that in the movies we may not be able to spend as much time with some of the more minor characters as we might like to. One of our favorite characters who isn't a big star is Chad Charming. He is the son of Cinderella and Prince Charming. To be honest, he isn't the nicest person in Ardon Prep, but he is a low-key kind of annoying rather than actually evil. And he does have a fairly decent side to him too because in Descendants 2 he rushes off to help his girlfriend Audrey even though she is stuck six hours drive from him. Anyway, today we are going to tell you about a story about Chad Charming. It's called Tough Love and it's by Strange Interest 32. In it, word has got back to Chad's mother, Cinderella, about how her son has been acting at Art on Prep. The fairy godmother tells her that, frankly, Chad has been acting less like a hero and more like a villain. Of course, this sort of thing can't really be allowed to happen, so she goes to visit Chad and his schoolmates to see what is going on. We aren't going to tell you anything more, but if you want to find out what happens, then read it. Welcome to Aradon High. Something that Descendants 2 did was something that every good sequel should do. It introduced some interesting, cool, and memorable new characters. One of the biggest new members of the cast was Uma, who is the main villain in the movie. She is the daughter of Ursula from The Little Mermaid, and she is someone who you don't want to get on the wrong side of. She is portrayed absolutely perfectly by China Ann McLean, who gives the character enough charisma to be interesting. Let's put it this way. Although she is the main villain in Descendants 2, that doesn't mean we don't like her. She's someone we want to know more about, and although she does get her comeuppance right at the end of the film, we are really hoping that she makes a comeback in the upcoming Descendants 3. Anyway, we found some cool stories about her, and we are going to tell you about one called Welcome to Aradon High. It's written by Heroes Champ, and it starts with the premise that Uma surrendered at the end of Descendants 2, and Ben ended up inviting her to Aradon. What we like about it is that it gives us another side of Uma, and it shows how she might try to settle down and try to start a new kind of life. Of course, it isn't always that simple, but if you want to know how she copes, then read Welcome to Aradon High.
Disney Descendants Fan Fiction Works One of the biggest motivations behind fan fiction is the idea that you can take some characters from a movie, book, or TV show and then really go in depth on their relationships. In Descendants 2, perhaps the biggest pairing of characters that people wanted to know more about how they interacted together was that of Harry Hook and Uma. Harry Hook is the son of James Hook, better known as Captain Hook from Peter Pan. He is unpredictable, sneaky, and always on the lookout to hook someone. But there is something that makes him a little bit sad though, and that is that he has to carry his hook in his hand. He really wishes he could have a hook instead of a hand just like his father. Anyway, when we meet him in Descendants 2, he is hanging out with Uma and is part of her pirate gang. We think that he is pretty much her second in command. Anyway, one Descendants 2 fan took things to a new level with their bit of fan fiction. This writer is called Watermelon Cat, and their work is called Disney Descendants Fan Fiction Works. It's a collection of short stories all focused on the relationship between Harry and Uma. We like them and we have to admire the way in which this writer has gone in deep on these two characters, exploring what works with them. Frustrating love. When we put up our original 10 Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that are better than the original, one thing we weren't expecting was the sort of response we would end up having from you, our viewers. We were amazed and delighted by how many people commented on our video telling us the Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that they had written themselves. We want to talk to you about some of the excellent stories that you guys told us. One of them is written by someone called Darkiana Plays MCPE. If you're watching this, we'd like to say hello and thank you for your excellent story. It's called called Frustrating Love and we are going to tell you a little bit about it. It introduces a new character who is called Aisiana. She is the daughter of Jack Frost and Elsa from Frozen. However, she causes a bit of a problem because Ben falls for her in a big way. You could say that he falls for her hook, line, and sinker. Talking of hooks, Harry Hook is there to comfort Mal once Ben ditches her for the new character. Something we've noticed in general is how popular Harry Hook is. We wonder if there'll be a bigger part for him in Descendants 3. Cool Girl 1628 Story Looking through some of the stories that you left us in the comments section of our 10 Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that are better than the original video, one of the things we loved was when you gave us new characters. That's really great because adding new characters is one of the things that fan fiction is for. One of the characters we really liked was in a story by one of our viewers called Cool Girl 1628. Cool Girl 1628, if you are watching this, thank you for telling us your story. We aren't sure if it's got a title, but if you can think of one, let us know in the comments. Anyway, this story introduces us to a character called Gabby. Gabby is the daughter of Mother Gothel, who you might remember from Tangled, Disney's adaptation of the Rapunzel fairy story. She was the evil witch who kidnapped Rapunzel and kept her in a tower. Anyway, in Cool Girl 1628's story, we learn that Gabby was actually abandoned by Mother Gothel when she was just five years old. She moved to the Isle of the Lost, where she initially became friends with Mal and her gang, only to become disappointed when they moved to Aradon. However, she then met Uma and her gang of pirates, who helped her to plot her revenge. One of the things we liked about this is how it's left open-ended. We hope there's a sequel. Descendants like a bolt out of the blue. When we put a video up, we absolutely love it when you leave your comments. When we posted our 10 Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that are better than the original, something that we loved was when people recommended some of their favorite Descendants 2 fan fiction stories. We loved that. One of the ones that caught our eye was Descendants like a bolt out of the blue, which was recommended to us by Kashi Kim. Hi Kashi Kim, thank you for telling us about this story. We hope that you're a subscriber. Anyway, this story is absolutely brilliant and it is written by Ava Hart. It is an absolutely epic length story and it is well worth the time that it will take to read it. In it, we meet a brand new character called Kaylee. She is the adopted daughter of Ben. Yes, it's a story that takes the premise of Descendants 2 and moves it forward in time. That's a really great idea! So with Kaylee and some of the other characters too, we are getting to meet the descendants of the descendants, if that makes sense. Well, it should do because this is a story that has its own continuity and draws you into a part of the world of Descendants 2 that maybe you hadn't spent that much time with. So if you want to know more, go and read descendants like a bolt out of the blue. Ben's Dilemma you might not realize it, but when you watch some of our videos, you're doing something that people all across the world are doing. We value all our viewers, and we love it when they leave comments. When we did our original 10 Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that are better than the original video, one of the stories we liked was from a viewer called Christina McClea, who is a Romanian fan of Descendants 2. Buna Christina, Moldumesc Forte Mult. Christina's story is really good, and it takes in so many of our favorite characters from the Descendants franchise. It starts off with Ben, asking Mal to marry him. Of course, with Mal's family background of villainy, there are plenty of people in Aradon who are not exactly delighted with the idea of Mal ending up being their queen. 
queen. So Mal finds herself experiencing a bit of a problem. Does she return to the Isle of the Lost to look after her fellow villain descendants, or does she do her duty and rule as Aradon's queen? There is also a dilemma for Ben. Does he listen to what some of his subjects want and let Mal go, or does he follow his heart and marry Mal? It's a really good story, and we are incredibly grateful that Christina decided to share it with us. Not that evil. One of the many things that we like doing when it comes to the whole Descendants franchise is trying to work out who else should come along and join our regular characters. After all, such massive fan favorites as Uma and Harry Hook were new characters in Descendants too, so we wonder who else will join them. One character that appeared in one fan fiction was one of our favorites, and we wondered if there'll be someone like that in the next film. It's by The Fire Whisperer 13, and it is called Not That Evil. The author very kindly told us about this on our earlier video, and we thank them for it. It's about the daughter of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland who is called Kira, and how she gets the chance to study at Aradon Prep. But when she is there, she gets to meet Alice's daughter who everyone thinks is a bit too crazy and gets bullied. To find out what happens, you'll have to read it, but we think you should give it a go because it's a very good story. But we wondered what new characters would you like to see in Descendants 3? And are there any other fan fiction stories that we've missed out? Maybe you've written one. So don't be shy and let us know by leaving your comments. And that's it for our 10 Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that are better than the original. Part 2. If you liked it, then check out 10 Descendants 2 fan fiction stories that are better than the original. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.